if you want to have a sharp cut and chain, stop. Okay, friends. Um, well, we we just got back from Bunyan there a couple weeks back, and uh, a fella gave me a chain, a baby C chain. And to look at it, you think to yourself, well, he's bang there. So there's a baby C, it's a nice looking baby C. It is, honestly, he's done a nice job, right? There's there's the baby C, it, look, it looks fine. That, that looks like not a bad baby C to me. It looks like it should cut, but who remembers, it's Husky Chain, who remembers me talking about when you go to check your chain out, cut with your chain and then stop and, and you know, like do three or four bucks and then look at your chain. Who remembers me saying that? That almost looks concave too near the end. Convex so, actually is what I mean, friends. My point being, I know that's terrible footage or whatever, but I'm going to plug you guys in. This is a, this is a, a problem that... If you want to have a sharp cut and chain, stop. It'll tell you what to do. Take a few bucks, buck three or four times. You know, just make sure the wood's clean, obviously. Buck, stop, inspect your chain. That's what I done here. I did maybe three, three bucks and looked at the chain and it's, it's, it's got a ragged top edge, top plate some concaveness. I can't stress how important that top plate is for your cut. I'm gonna clean it up and try it again. It's cutting okay, but it's, it's not the greatest. I, want, I told you I'd let you know. And I'm giving it to you straight, brother, because I'm not helping nobody if I give them the old pat on the back. Yeah, right on, nice job. Well, you did a nice job. You did, you did a nice job, but there's more to be done, brother. Okay, friends, so here we are. And I got my tip here. And where's my little, there's my, my baby C file from, uh, from Bunyan, actually. So. I'm, uh, I'm just going to roll through and see if I can find the issue. It's burr. That's the issue. I see it already. And actually what could happen here is the file bends. So all I'm doing, literally, friend, I'm not kidding. I'm literally just going right through his filing, but, but staying fairly light and just going through. And I'm already seeing burr. And you may see it as well. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's totally burr. It's totally burr. I'll see if I can get you guys on this. So here it is. Here, let me turn you around. Let me, let me. Look at this one. See, it probably the guy fella probably did the, what I said. He did. he knocked the see the corner like that. Watch what happens here. I'm gonna really concentrate. So, on so this. friends, I hammer this into the ground because I want folks to understand that you may look sharp, he's but under, just watch what happens here. And I'm stroking this a lot. Yes, I am because I want my chains to cut. I want them to grab wood and stay sharp. It's about edge retention it's gonna come you can get something real sharp and it'll cut it. for can four you? or five there bucks and all of a sudden your edge is gone thing. watch the burr right come up on this tube. and you may Look think hey it. you're filing the yeah i am filing the chain <laughs> there back. It is. absolutely right. i am would you look at that a burr don't tell me you cannot see that so Lance, that's what you failed to do on this one. I know it looks like you did, buddy, but but you didn't. You didn't. So I'm just trying to help you. Look at that burr. Okay, so there, there it is. So let's get rid of it. Let's just glide our file through until that goes. Don't dig, there it goes. It just flaked off. Now that is a sharp chain, a sharp tooth. Good morning. Well, it's about, oh my goodness, it's actually seven-ish. And that it's getting light. We've had torrential downpour and wind. So not the greatest conditions for cutting trees, but it looks like it might be 
Like I can see clouds flying back of that away. The trees are rocking and rolling. I hope it settles down because I want to cut today. And I want to cut with this chain on the power saw that I just, on this video. Friends, I forget the gentleman's name, <clears throat> but he was at Bunyan. And he gave me that chain and it sat on the uh, desk there. And I actually, on Sunday, I actually filed a, a baby C of my own to teach folks. Friends, the baby C is just something that, it's an experiment really is what it is, but it cuts, it cuts like crazy actually. It takes a bit to get though. And you can, that's what you'll notice here. This fella looked like he had one happening. He, it looked good to look at. And I thought, geez, that looks good. It's probably going to cut. Well, I have to be honest. It didn't cut that well. It just didn't. I'm being honest. And I'm not helping nobody, as I said before. I'm, I'm not helping nobody if I say, oh, yeah, great. Well, it cut. It, it did cut. There's no question about it. But it didn't last. The edge didn't last. And this is why. Don't be afraid to, to waste chain to get a sharp cutting chain because it's going to last. That chain you just saw me file, that tooth you just saw me file is going to last because it's a sharp edge. It's not some weak tip out there. It's like a knife with a super, super fine edge. You hit something, it dents and it does that same principle. Same principle. Get that edge up there. Get that burr off. Don't worry about chewing up a bit of chain. Chain, a sharp tooth right there. It's sharp. And it's going to stay sharp and not fold over. Okay? So that is the baby C Aroni right there. What's next? This probably isn't too bad, this one. It wasn't every one he didn't get. This, this one looks okay. Let's double check. I hold the file like this and push back because, look at the file bends. This one's actually not bad. But, to be honest, I think we can get it better. Oops. Yeah, you can. You may have to you may have to stroke it 50 times. Right? There we go. There's even. Let's have a look. Let me twist that file in there. Give it a little twist. See if it'll roll up. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? There you go. Give the file a little roll. This one looks scary. This one looks like we might have we might have uh uh, burr issues here because it, it looks convex actually it is convex friends look it's convex here I'll show you what I mean by convex sorry right right convex which is hollow in the middle and do you guys know what I'm saying let's roll this and see if we got burr Watch what happens. I'm just going to ever so slightly and try and stay off the camera stand. He's already got the ditch out of it, the gullet, so we just want to try and make that straight. We're going to get burr, I can tell, because I'm under the tooth. Watch what happens here. See the burr at the tip? See the tip showing up? The burr is showing up at the tip. And that's where it was convex. We'll probably get it all the way across now. Yeah, we will. There. There we go. Look at that. Straight now. Schlunk. Okay. Hope you're getting it. Getting it. Look at that one. Actually, I think you can even see the burr here. You can. Let's go at this real quick. Just a few strokes that 
stay against the tooth. What I may need to do is bend the file back into There it goes. It's finicky work, but once you build it, you're there. There we go. Straight. Baby C. Okay there, partner. Here's your baby C chain. It didn't cut really that good, and I can tell you why it didn't. See that big burr right there? See it? You can see it, right, buddy? Yeah. So, th there it is there. There it is. It's flaking off now. Here, let's do this. There it is. Okay, see that? A lot of guys missed that. You missed it. There it is there. It's flaking off now. There it is, right there. Friends, this is a chunk of that rock hard dry maple that uh, Graveyard Rob brought over for us. It's been sitting all summer and the summer before, I believe. It's hard. see those clouds are moving pretty fast in a northwesterly blow which usually brings good weather so hopefully it's not horrible hopefully it's it's blowing out you know what I mean it's it's blowing itself out I hope so there we go um, listen one thing real quick um, I don't have the before and after cutting of this chain it was it, it was very interesting because it actually initially, it, it, he didn't have the rakers real low. I find with the baby C, you can actually afford a bit lower of a rakers. Just what I found. But again, um, it's just what I found. Here is Tin Man's 266 that I sent back because, oh yeah, it's blowing. It just didn't hit the mark. And, and again, I, I can't tell somebody they're doing good when they're not. I have to be honest with people. People appreciate me for that aspect. I'm not, I'm not here to, I'm here to help people, to make people get up and get higher and, and do better. Uh, mediocrity, what's the word I'm looking for? Mediocrity. Mediocrity is a choice. And if you surround yourself with people, yes people, I do see it a lot, friends. I, honestly, I, I'm going to be honest. I see it a lot. I see it in YouTube. Where's that bee? Okay, he's outside. Good. <laughs> the bees are starting to get ready to... We had a bomber inside the house the other day, friends. They sleep in the wood pile, right? He was, oh, he was a clunker. Just... <laughs> Wendy's like, you brought bees in. We got them. Anyways, I, I'm kind of shooting off. But, friends, this... Power saw filing thing. You can have the exact same saw. You can actually have a saw that's stronger and a saw that's a bit weaker, but the weaker guy can beat the fella in a cut if he's got his file on point. It's true, friends. So nice job on the baby C, brother. You did a good job. Just concentrate on that top edge. Don't be afraid of wasting chain to get sharp. I hear people say that all the time. Oh, you're sure stroking that thing a lot. Yes, I like, I like a sharp chain. And I like to be able to cut for hours, not for a couple minutes and then have to file again. Buck a few rounds, friends. Inspect your chain. 
If your chain is top edge is not straight and sharp, you've missed the burr. Make sense? Rock on. You win, buddy. Sincerely. Seriously. I'm getting a 32 inch bar on this thing quick. That thing's got pull and crackalonies. You done it, buddy. That is that is a rip and saw. I think I had it lean a bit. I uh I, I went at it and it I dug it into the wood and poured the coals to it and it ran out of fuel and I got it and then I had to bring it back around. So I fattened it up. You built something here, pal. So here we are. I got a couple things to show you at the end of this video, friends. Very unsettled. Look at the sky. And of course, gusts, big gusts coming. Like, here, here comes one now, maybe. It, it doesn't look horrible, of course, because every time you try to show it, but look at the clouds. So, I phoned, um, I phoned Morgan, friends, and said, we, we, can't, we can't live like this. We can't just wait, you know, let's just push tomorrow so we look. Oh yeah, look at this, friends. Look, she's, she's unsettled. Yeah, and he's, there's some falling around the house and that. But on, a, on another note, friends, Talk to me about that. <laughs> oh yeah. So, oh yeah, here. You see what I mean? As soon as you think you're, you're no, no, it's ripping. So yesterday, friends, I, well, yesterday and the day before, actually, I, I couldn't stare at this any longer. And every time I say to myself, I'm not gonna bring wood to the yard anymore because I hate the freaking cleanup. I do it again. And I spent two days raking and cleaning and, and this is the result and I love it. And my wife loves a clean house and a clean everything. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. And I went after it and I, whoa, they're doing something over there. But yeah, it's, it's snot out here today. So I had a big burn. I would reckon, oh yeah, she's still smoking, friends. She, this was deadly. So I took all that sawdust, all that wood, and, and I built a fire. And friends, this is it the next day, down to nothing. Look at that. I could, oh look, it's still burning. <laughs> so this is beautiful. Hey, all gratitude. Just heavy on the gratitude, friends. So listen, if your life right now, if you think your life, you're maybe, you think you're getting the short end of the stick, well, then you are. Then you are. Because if that's what you think, then that's what you are. So I'm not just gonna come to this this YouTube, this platform, and and say, hey, look at me do this and look at me do that. I'm gonna come here and say, let's try to get together and help each other feel better about our world. And maybe through maybe consciousness and global consciousness that we can help each other feel good about what's going down in our own lives. It starts at home. It starts right here with the individual. And uh, again, I've just got a lot of gratitude lately. Something happened at Bunyan for me. It was before Bunyan actually, but when I crossed that border, 
something happened. It was like, I can't really explain the feeling. Obviously gratitude, but I mean, it was almost like, here we go. Here we go. We're able to move around. So anyways, this is the end of the video. I wanted to come out and share because you guys see my yard all the time. I cleaned up. I just, I'm so grateful for folks that come here and hang out with me and, and, and spend my life with me on the internet as I sit in the arena and you sit in the stands and watch and I'm in your homes with your families and your children and everything and I'm just so grateful for that. And I, it's my darndest to do a video for you guys every day. I try my best. Sometimes it's not the greatest, sometimes it's wonderful. But that's what happens when you go every day. Look at this, look at this friends. Here's our last little view. Look at here. Oh, she looks unsettled, doesn't it? Hey, hey, Daniel Murphy. Buddy, you've been on YouTube a long time. Daniel Murphy, he's a tree guy from Philly. <laughs> I, I haven't been on YouTube that long, but old Daniel Murphy's been rocking and rolling for a long time. Friends, send Daniel Murphy some love. He's an old tree guy uh, with a lovely gal, and uh, he just reached out to me the other day. Oh dear. Oh my. Do me a favor, friends. Go over and see Daniel Murphy. I don't know how much content he's got up right now, but go see him anyways. Check out his latest video. Give him a hello. Tell him Buck and Billy Ray said hi. His name's Daniel Murphy. Go check him out. Daniel, I love you, brother. Thanks for reaching out. Friends, work hard. Be honest. And most of all, be kind. We'll catch you on the next one. The file on the bottom is the 730 seconds file. It is the correct file for this chain. I am going down about four sizes to an eighth. The little teeny one on top is called an eighth file, okay? And that's what the baby C is created with, completely. Look at this, I'll just show you with one hand to show you what the action is. This is the action of the baby C. Now I will grab this with my hand my second hand, but I'm, I'm giving folks the idea because, sorry friends, I poked your eight in the eye. So there is the baby C from the inside, friends. I mean, it's quite scary and it holds an edge. I'm telling you, this is an afterthought. I'm in Pittsburgh right now and I'm just filming with my buddy and this just hit me before the sun went down and I thought, I got some guys that have been reaching out to me about this and they say they've been doing it and they're extremely impressed in the hardwoods in Eastern Canada. So I'm just trying to show guys how to get it and what's involved in getting it. The first time you do it, you have to flip that burr off that top plate like we talked about earlier. So I'm telling you, it's a cutter. I know it's a cutter. So that's what it looks like on the inside. We'll show you on the outside again. So once you're in, friends, you can see the, the, the travel of the file. That's it, you have to build this. So in building it, you are gonna have to flip that top plate off of there. And you need a firm hand on that. Some guys go too far, they end up with it over top. But this is a fine, fine example of the baby C. And that gullet stays in the whole way back. I don't touch it, it stays in. So this gullet created will stay in all the way that black line, it's like a square ground chain, friends, but it's round.